Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are reviewing the Petunia Pickle Bottom Boxy Backpack. Um, I'm gonna say the dimensions first and everything, and then we'll get right into like showing all of the features of this backpack. So, I got mine from Nordstrom, but I'm on the Nordstrom app right now, and it's not showing this style available. But I know that you can get this on buybybaby.com. So, for the dimensions, we're just gonna look at a different style. And so here's the size information. 13 inches wide, 13 and a half inches high, and five and a half inches deep. There, it is, it is advertised as a backpack, so obviously it comes with backpack straps, but a crossbody strap is also included, and the backpack straps just um, unbuckle here at the bottom and tuck into this back pocket because they're not removable right here. Um, this is what it looks like. This is like the cream um, material, and then with the black at the bottom, obviously. This material up at the top is a wipeable, like waxed um, material. Another thing that this bag comes with is this wipe case. So it just, it's like a normal little wipe case. And then it also comes with stroller straps. So you put this around the stroller handlebar and it can hang from it. And those attach right here. So let's, let me just show you a little bit about it. So there's two pockets on the side for bottles. Right here, right here. And then obviously this back pocket is right here and it has a button to secure it. So if you're not using it for your straps, this is a nice like grab spot for your phone and your keys and things like that. The top flaps open like this and there's no pocket here. Another style of the Petunia Pickle Bottom Backpack has um, a pocket right there, which I think is really nice. So in the front right here, this could either be a pocket, well you can use it as a pocket both times, but this, these unzip right here, and they're actually, I found that this is a little bit difficult to unzip on some of them. I've had to actually return and get a different one because it was so hard to unzip. And it comes with this changing pad that's really nice and cushioned and really long. So you can just lay this out on the public changing pad things. But if you don't wanna use this, like my friend got me a gather mat, so I'm gonna use that instead. It's removable. So then I find that when it's zipped up, this is a really nice pocket right here. Um, this is just the diaper changing station. So I have some tiny little newborn diapers in there. And you can fit about like five or six of like the newborn ones. So I'm sure you could fit like bigger sizes as well easily. And then this is the Skip Hop wipe case. I don't have any in here yet because if I haven't said it, um, my baby isn't born yet. And so this is actually just like everything that I have in it for the hospital. So I have a wipe case right there. And this is just... I know this is gonna be really nice because you don't have to open your diaper bag all the way to get these things out. That's gonna be really nice. Okay, so here's the top zipper. And I'm trying to think of the word for these. Like, obviously I know they're like little zipper tabs, but it's called the hardware, I think. So the hardware is all like this brushed, like coppery material. And then these are leather. And I don't know if they're real or what, but so that opens. And then this is about how wide you could get it open. And in here right now I have a Solly baby wrap, a couple swaddles, Aiden and I swaddles. These are from Nordstrom in case you want some. And then I have some clothes for photos in the hospital right here. So that's quite a few outfits. And then also some little burp cloths. So once you have the stuff out of there, there's socks and mittens in the side, but there is a keychain holder right here. Let's see, perfect. A zipper pouch right on the inside. If I turn it over, now you're at the front. You're gonna have two pockets right there. I think I need to get up for this. You have two pockets right there, so one, gosh, it's hard to show, and two. 
and then two more pockets right here. So these all fit bottles as well. Let's see if I could get you a better shot of that. One, two, three, four. And then just a big opening. So that kind of wraps up the how this bag functions. Um, I love how I've had a different diaper bag that I actually returned. And this bag is not like super heavy when it's on its own. And I think that's important because then you're filling up with all this stuff and then it becomes too heavy. But this one is just like really lightweight and it holds a lot and I like how it can be organized so easily. And I think the material is great because you'd never be able to have this color. I'm having a little boy. So this would never last if it was like not this waxed material. I'm really excited about this and I'm gonna keep this. I think that you could pack a lot so this could be for like overnight stays and all that stuff but also just for everyday use. It's just gonna be really nice. So I hope that this helps if you're thinking about buying this bag. I um, hope it gives you a little bit more information on it and let's do a little bump shot and then the video will be over. Okay, so this is what 33 weeks looks like right now. I can't even believe it. We're getting so close. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.